Pinocchio, what's going on? I think this ring speaks for itself. Uh, Rio, I'm flattered, but, but I don't want to marry you. The proposal's not from me, it's from Sean. Sean? He couldn't walk, so he asked me if I'd deliver it in his place. He did? I thought he didn't care. Jeff, I'm very sorry, but... I understand. You do? Look, Kimber, I did a lot of thinking on the way over here today. I began to wonder if I could give up my carefree lifestyle. I was having second thoughts, but I didn't want to disappoint you. Oh, Jeff, maybe it's all for the best. I think so. Great. Oh, I need to get to the hospital. I want to see Sean. I'll take you. I'm glad that worked out okay. Oh, you are, are you? Well, I just hate to see someone make a mistake, that's all. I mean, after all, the guy's got his whole life ahead of him. Oh, being married might not be so bad. Whoa, now don't go getting any ideas. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, you guys! <laughs> hey, come on, cut it out! We have to do something with all this rice! So, you see, Kimber, when Rio told me you were about to be married, I realized I didn't want to lose you. Don't worry. You're not going to lose me. Does that mean you'll accept me proposal of marriage? Sean, I wanted to get married for a lot of reasons that had nothing to do with you or Jeff. I wanted to get away from Jerrica's influence. I wanted to be adult. I... I wanted to have a big party. We need to wait and learn more about each other. But when I do marry you, I want it for the right reasons. Not because I want a party or because you're afraid of losing me to Jeff. I agree, love. Then we'll both be ready. Meantime, you better get well quick. You are holding up my sister's movie career. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I hope you like it. I already do. I've seen it twice now, but I wanted to see it again. You were great. You got my vote. I think she is absolutely without talent. It sounds like you've already made up your mind, Mr. Chaget. Why did you come? It's free, isn't it? You invited me, didn't you? I invited all Academy members. Yes, well, I'd be happy to share my enlightened opinion with any of them. Jim, you want me to make his day? After me, you come first. Come on, you two! Everyone's entitled to their opinion. This is all part of the process. Every film that's nominated is screened for the Academy members. It's a courtesy. Yeah, well, he sure doesn't seem very courteous. I invited you all here to view my film, Starbright. I just can't believe how presumptuous Jem is seeking Obviously, to compete like with someone of Geraldine Pathos' stature. No matter who you vote for, I want you to vote for them because you feel they gave this year's best performance in a motion picture. Thank you. Well, it's all in their hands now. I wonder who's gonna win. Stop pacing, Jem. Relax. Be calm. I can't believe it. I'm more nervous than you were on your wedding day. <laughs> I know. Isn't it exciting? Just think in a few more hours, my sister will be an Academy Award winner. Maybe. Vivian! Oh, a limo. And what a big one. Of course, with such lovely ladies, we always travel first class. Right, Anthony? You bet. Flatterers. And for my next trick... <sighs> Sean! Outrageous! They let you out! Yes, but we still won't be able to finish the picture for a few more weeks. And they said you have to be gentle with me till I heal. I will. Well, where's my date? Uh, I... You mean dates? That's right. Remember, you promised to escort us both. <sighs> Look, we better get going or we'll miss the ceremony. <laughs> okay, honey, in you go. One of the holograms. Look, there's Anja and Raya. Hey, Anja. Raya. Look, there's Flint. Hey, Flint. Make our day. Look, there's Jam. <laughs>
Doesn't she look great? Get a load of her handsome escort. <laughs> Don't be nervous. There's only going to be about a billion people watching tonight. You certainly know how to make a girl feel secure, Mr. Pacheco. Welcome, members of the Academy and members of the studio audience to the 60th Annual Academy Awards presentation. We've got a lot of people to acknowledge tonight, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce the first presenters, Lena Lerner and her son, Dominic. All right. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. We're here to honor a very important, though often overlooked category, makeup. Yeah, Lena, and yours is great, but let's get on to the important stuff. And now, for best sound effects editing? Why do we have to sit through all this? Why don't they get to the awards all the world is waiting for? <laughs> 